hello 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 good morning to you all good morning to you sorry about that take two i just had to pop off and get my laptop because i left it on charge but i do really need it so that i can see you or any comments you might make and follow along oh my friend's coming in no he doesn't like it when i shut the door when i do coffee and cards i'm going to take you over and let the dog in he likes to sit by my feet while we craft hi lucy Come on then, you can come and sit by. Oh, he's wagging his tail. Silly old doggy. Hello, Lucy, I miss you, my lovely. I'm missing all the coffee and cars ladies so much at the moment. Right, here we are, I'm back again now. Back in my usual spot. Hello, Hilary, I'm so glad. I'm so sorry if I missed you guys when I just popped on, but I didn't have my laptop. And uh, it's good to be able to see that I'm in the right place. And if I have got any comments and things like that so I can follow along. Although my laptop's not really loading, very weird. Don't know what's going on there. It says, computer says no. Oh, your little dog is sat next to you. That is so cute. I'm just gonna shut down a load of windows on my laptop. Maybe that'll help. I've got loads and loads and loads open from before when I was doing a lot of work there. I hope you are well, I hope everyone's really well this Tuesday and this current stuff isn't getting you down too much. Hi, Lexi. Oh, the dog's on guard, clearly. He's so naughty. Excuse me, that's not very polite. Sit down. Use your inside voice, please. <laughs> Hello, Claire. Good morning. Oh, dear. Right, okay. Missing you all. You know what? I think there's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, guys. So, uh, part cat sits on the armrest. I've got a funny story about that I'll share with you in a minute. Um, I think there's light at the end of the tunnel yet. So let's just keep positive and keep going and stay safe. All right, okay. My 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 laptop still, th oh yeah, I'm live in the right place. That's good. So anyway, we have, Demos, demonstrators, stamping up demonstrators are all very excited at the moment. Hello, Jan. Good morning. We're all very, very excited because we have a brand new annual catalogue coming in June, which gives us all loads and loads and loads of beautiful products that we can use for the next year. And oh, it's just gorgeous. And so as demos, we get a pre-order, we get a sneak peek and all those things, obviously. So our catalogues have come. And last night and today we can start our pre-order period the catalogue goes live to customers in June. Um, so from today, I can order all my catalogues and send them out to you as soon as they come. I'm glad you got yours, Lucy. Well done. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Super excited. But with all that new goodies that we've got coming, we're saying goodbye to some favourites. And I just went through my stamp set and I thought, I'm gonna just going to have a little look at... Um, what I've got in my stash that I really loved or really love that's retiring and get it out because it's nice to share what's retiring so that if people see it and they want it, they can get it while they can. And I picked out, let me show you what I picked out. This is a good two or three years old, this stamp set and the die bundle, the dies that go with it. It's called Colourful Seasons. I know that's backwards. I'll read the sentiments out to you but it has seasonal stamps in there and the dies to match for spring, summer, autumn and winter and it's really useful. So yeah, so I'll tell you what the sentiments say. It's got, may all your tomorrows be as happy as today. So that'd be great for a birthday. It's got congratulations. It's got thinking of you. It's got life is a beautiful thing and just breathe and you make me smile. All in this pretty curly font which is really lovely. And then it's got the dies to match. So I am gonna crack on, sorry, what a noise. I'm gonna crack on and make a card or two. And hopefully a couple of you may craft along. I don't have coffee this morning. I'm on the hard stuff. Not that hard, it's a uh, Coke. I've got a can of Coke. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm on. What are you drinking? Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, great sentiments in this stamp set. And they're really, the font is lovely and they're really big. I like it. I'm going to turn you over so you can see the craft area I'm using. It is always a bit clunky when I do that, so bear with me. Here we go. Hi, Linda, if I didn't see you come in there. Oh, 
Hang on, my chair's stuck. I think it's the dog. <laughs> right, so here we go. Squash. Squash is always a good one. Coffee. I'm going to get a coffee after. I just thought if I made you guys wait any longer, you might give up on me. So, sorry my arm's in the shot. I'm just going to bring the tripod forward slightly. See where we're at. Oh, your husband Ben sounds perfect, Jan. Making you nice cups of coffee like that. That's lovely. So I showed you the stamp set. Let me move this one out of the way. And I'll bring in the dies. Now, you can see how old this set is. I think it's about three years old. It's called the Seasonal Layers Thin Lit Dies. Uh, oh, I've got it upside down. I've taken some of them out, actually. So there's a few of them in here. Um, we've got the tree branch. We have got this fabulous chair. One of these like American rocking chairs. What are they called? There's a name for these. This is what made me buy the set. This chair. Um, we've got a beautiful scalloped edge for cards. Um, what else have we got? We've got a lot of flowers that I've taken out because I'm going to use them at some point. I've got some of those and there's more of those. There's more flowers out somewhere. We've got um, more flower, more flowers here, the outlines. There is a drink, <laughs> little drink with a straw. We've obviously got snowflakes for the winter. There's three different snowflakes. You can see I've used them a lot. Very useful ones. Um, I'm not sure quite what this is for. It might be something to do with the drink. I've never used that little circle. Um, we have got the leaves, which I have used on so many projects. This one in particular cuts out a really beautiful detailed leaf. So there's a lot of dyes in there and they're really useful. So that's what we're using. I'm going to move it out of the way now. But first of all, I'm just going to do a simple one layer card with some stamping for my first one. So I'm just going to use the stamp set to start off with. Okay, right now, this is the fun part. Where are the stamps I got out? Right, so I've got to decide what I'm going to do on the layer of my card. And I've already got a general idea what I'm going to do. So I've brought in the branch stamp. And I'm going to do that in soft way. So I just picked out a nice brown. Yes, it's an all season stamp there. So it's really useful because you can use it with other stamp sets, of course. Right, so I'm just going to give this one a, a stamp off. I'm going to actually, I'm going to save my grid paper a little bit. Save a few trees, shall we? Let's pop that on. So I'm super excited about the pre-order. I'm super excited about the catalog. Honestly, it doesn't take much to get me excited. There we are, that one. And because they're photo polymer stamps, you can see through. I'm gonna do another one here, like that. So that's the branch. And then there's another kind of part branch. Hey, Margaret, good morning, how are you? It's like a part branch on this one and I'm going to try and line it up and give myself a, my branch a bit more branch if that makes any sense and I'm going to line it up because there's a gap and off we go there we are I'm going to do it with the other one now I'm going to be stamping a load of flowers over the top so if it's not quite right it's not the end of the world right there we are not bad all right let's move those and then I bring take that one out of the way as well well, actually, I'll stamp my chair before I move the soft suede. I'm going to use the same ink for the chair. Now, I've got a deck chair stamp I'm going to use. It's this one here, and it comes in two parts, and you match them up, which is the beauty of the photopolymer stamp. So I'm going to do the deck chair frame in soft suede as well. Do you know what? Every time I see a deck chair, this deck chair stamp... It reminds me of a time on the beach. I think it must have been Barry Island Beach or somewhere like that when I was very small. And both my grandmas were there with us and they were trying to put a deck chair together. And it was the most hilarious thing for, because for one reason or another, they could not put this deck chair up. <laughs> and I think by the end of it, they were all falling about laughing. And uh, it's funny what, what evokes a memory, isn't it? 
my lovely grandmas. Right, okay, so this is the seat part of the deck chair. I'm going to stamp it in, what colour have I chosen? One of my favourites, Coastal Cabana, which is what I've got the card base colour in. And I'm going to line it up. Now you can see where these little pieces of the frame are and you can line up your stamp. It's actually, say, not too bad to do. I'm going to make sure I get it right. That little bit hooks over the end there. Once you've lined that bit up, you're okay, says me. Huzzah! That's not bad, is it? That's not bad for a deck chair. Hooray! Let's move that one out of the way as well. So I thought we would have some very bright flowers and I brought the melon mambo into play. Okay, now there's, apart from the um, individual flowers that you get in the stamp set, there is also a spray that fits on the branch. So that's what I'm gonna use for this. And I've just been using it earlier and it's very pink. So, not that it wasn't already because I've had it a long time. Okay. Now I'm gonna line these up any way I like and I'm not gonna to worry too much. Hi, Anne. Hello, thank you for joining us all the way from Australia. Lovely to see you. I am going to just kind of line these up and I'm not going to worry too much about the placement of the flowers. See? And then I'm going to stamp again, but I'm not going to re-ink my ink. I'm just going to go over the top like that. So you get two colours. Do you see that? And it's really pretty. And you can do that as much as you want. Oh, I just stuck my hand in it. Perhaps not a plan. Just wipe that off on my stamp cleaner. And then I'm going to do the bottom one the same. But I think I'm going to stamp off once. It's really quite juicy. And I'm going to line it up just so it's kind of got somewhere for it to land like that. And then I'm going to do that again. Bring it back a bit. And then you can continue with your flowers to put in as many as you like. Is it lunchtime in the Netherlands? Oh, welcome to my page, Thea. Thank you for joining me today. How lovely. I suppose it's nearly that time here, isn't it? I start at 11, so yeah. Let's put a little bit more dark pink in there. I don't want it too pink, so let's stamp off again. And bring it. I don't want to go over it all. Bring it out there. That is so pretty. And then I'm just going to stamp off here. Because it reminds me of the cherry blossoms that you get in the spring, which are just about all falling off now, that are rather beautiful. So I thought that's actually what inspired me to use it. Okay, so, okay, right. So I've got my card base, but I'm gonna put my sentiment on it first. Now I picked out, where is, oh, I didn't get it out yet. I was gonna decide, and I think I'll put thinking of you in this one. See, there's so many nice sentiments. Yeah, so I thought it was a good idea to get to just pull out some of the ones that are retiring. Well, one of my favourites that's retiring. Look at the state of my chamois. You know my new one I got the other day. Look at this, look at this. Fab. Hillary, look at my chamois. <laughs> Sorry about the noise it makes, it makes a squeak. Right, let's take that one off of that. And put this one on. And this one says, thinking of you. And I think I'm going to do it. What colour shall I do it in? I'm going to pop it here, but what colour shall I stamp it in? I think I'm going to stamp it full on in the Melon Mambo. Hi, Mum. Hope you're okay today. Hi, Jess. I'm so glad you could join us. Have you not still used your chamois yet? If you're lucky, Hilary, it could look like this very quickly. Oh, dear. I hope everyone's well. 
Lockdown seems to have been a long time, doesn't it? Some days are good, some days are not so good. But you know what? We all get through each day and we muddle through in the end, don't we? Right, so I'm going to put my thinking of you down here. Full strength. Let's hope it comes out. You need an empty box to store the chamois. Can you get one um, off the website, Hilary, if you need one? Just use a stamp, uh, one of these. These come, you can buy these empty, these stamp um, cases. And this size fits it perfectly. Oh, Margaret, you must use it. Hi, Corinne. How lovely of you to join us. Thank you. So I've got thinking of you down there. And I'm going to, oh, actually, I'll leave that one out because I'm going to stamp with it again. I'm going to pop this one on. And it's a very simple one layer card. I'm going to grab my snail. Is there any glue left in it? Yes. This snail is also retiring, but we're getting a new different kind of snail. So do not worry. If you like this particular one, grab it in the shop while you can. Right. Thinking of you, I like this. It's so simple, one layer flat stamped card. And then I've got another piece of Whisper White. Um, if you'd like to know the dimensions of my card, yeah, no homeschooling on a bank holiday. Lucy is such a bonus. <laughs> Excellent idea, Hilary, I need to do the same thing, to be honest. Um, I definitely do. So if you wanna know the dimensions of my card, I use a piece of A4 cut in half. Here we go. Here's the other half of this one. Here it is. This is the size of A4. So if you look at it this way, I don't stick pink ink all over it. If you look at it that way, I don't know if you can see the whole shot, but you uh, score it at 10.5 centimeters and then cut it in a half here at 14.9. And that makes a C6 plain sort of standard card base size. And so I then make my layers just half a centimetre smaller at 14.3 by 10. And I do the same for my insert. It's the same size. Oh, no, you've got an error while loading. I'm sorry to hear that. Is everyone else's all right? So thinking of you, I'll put you make me smile inside. Look, I've pulled them all apart, all these stamps. <laughs> Let's grab a block. Maybe log out and come back in again, Lucy. Is everyone else is okay? Can someone let me know? Oh, I'm back, am I? Did, did I go for everyone or just for Lucy? You didn't miss anything. <laughs> I am just going to stamp, you make me smile. In the middle. I know lots of people I could send this to because there's a lot of people who make me smile, honestly. There's an awful lot of nice, lot of lovely, nice people out there. And then I'm going to take some of the individual flower stamps. Oh, just Lucy. Thanks, Hilary. And I'm going to stamp them off. I'm just going to stamp a couple in the corner. Like that. Just maybe like that, just so it's different shades. And then I'll take a big one, I think. There's three of these stamps, different flowers. Oh, that was, that's a mistake. I can tell you about that. If you stamp something, um, and then you stamp it on the corner, when you re-stamp it, you'll end up with the corner. So always re-ink it properly in between and then stamp off if you want to. So I'm just going to stamp over that one. There we go, that's fine. Nobody will ever know. Right, okay, so let's pop that one over there. Now my chamois bright pink. And uh, I've got a little smudge on it, so maybe I will put another one on there. And a bit better. There we are. I think that's nice. 
Yes, we're fine. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you're asking each other. That's confusing, right. Okay, so I am going to pop that in there. Let's just pop. So this is very much like my regular coffee and card. Uh, single layer, simple stamping, pretty and effective. Trying to show the use of the stamps without too many extra tools. So, and uh, might appeal to everybody. So I love this. I am bright pink. I'm gonna have to stamp some more in there. Look, look at that. I will. I'll stamp some more. It's that melon mambo. It's so juicy at the moment. Okay. So you make me smile. And there's the front. I really like that. A very quick and simple card. I am going to. Yeah, that one's got a funny thing on it too. Let's stamp it. Cool, it's bright pink everywhere, ladies. Oh, I'm glad you like that. It's very quick and achievable. One of these will be for today's 2.6 challenge, no doubt. There we go. We have a lot of flowers in that card, but we don't have any pink smudges, so that is the main thing. Right, let's move that one out of the way before I do any more damage with it. Look at me. <laughs> that's, that's that one. And I love that. It reminds me of the cherry blossoms. So let me move these stamps right out of the way. Let's turn that over. Move these. So I don't need this one. I'm going to clean my stamps a minute. You can uh, watch me making a mess. There we are. Just to try and... Um, Damage limitation going on. That one. And that one. And then when I've done that, my hands. It's a good thing about this chamois is it takes ink off everything. I wouldn't be without mine now. But now I'm bright pink today. Right, let's turn it over. That's a bit more pleasing. Right, yes, it's a peaceful card. That's it. It's kind of meant to be calming. So somebody who's feeling a bit rubbish at the minute, you could just pop that in their post or pop it through their door. It might perk them up a little bit. So that's our first one. Okay, and then I've got another one for you. Now, what have I done with all the pieces? Here they are. I don't need the pink, pink quite so much for this one. Right, so I really love this paper. This is the back of the poppy paper. And I really love this kind of white uh, wash on the blue, on the, it's not balmy blue, it's um, mint macaron. No, it's not mint, it's the other color. It'll come to me in a minute. Pool party, that's what it is. What would I put on the envelope? Yes, I tell you what, I'll stamp the envelopes at the end for you. There'll be more flowers. <laughs> I might even put a deck chair on there. Um, so I have cut a piece to fit as I would my normal layer. So I've made my card base the same as before, which is half cut in half and scored in half. And then half a centimetre smaller for this layer, which is crumb, no, uh, Sahara sand cardstock, which is 10 by 14.3. And then my designer series paper or DSP layer, is 9.5 by 13.8 centimeters. I don't need an insert with this one if I don't want to because I've got a nice white um, insert to stamp on. So I was looking for a nice pale panel so that I could add my images and they would stand out. And so I've used some of the dies for this one. And I'll, I've shown you the, the chair one, haven't I? And this one, this is this one, this is what I've used on this one so instead of the deck chair i've used this chair and it's got a name if anyone knows me oh what's it called mm, i can't remember but i've cut it out in coastal cabana one of my favorites as you know so i've cut it out in that and i've also done some more cutting so you know remember we stamped the branch on here well there's a die cut so you can stamp the branch and cut it out 
or you can just take a piece of cardstock and cut it out, which is what I've done here. And I've cut that out in, I think the same color. Yeah, Sahara sand. And I'm gonna have it coming over here on my card like that. So I've got my branch, I've got my tree, my chair. Um, and then I've also done something else ready for you. So this is like ready, Just I just need to really assemble it, but there's a reason why I've done that. So this is my sentiment. This is the Just Breathe stamp, which is in the set, or I might have got it out. Yeah, here it is, and you can see it's all white, Just Breathe. It's very stained, it's, I've used it Swissy for years, it works really well. So Just Breathe, and I've stamped it in the white craft ink onto vellum. And the reason why I've done it in advance is it takes a long time. This white crafting takes quite a little oh. while, so half an hour or so to dry. Maybe not that long, but a little while to dry. You can also use your heat tool to just speed that process up. But especially on vellum, it will move around more and be wet longer. So I wanted to do that in advance. This is what it looks like. This I've got the old style ink pad, but this is how it comes. It's the craft ink, just a white ink pad like that. And I stamped it using the stamp onto the vellum and just let it dry there. So I'm going to kind of assemble it like this. And then I'm going to take some of the flower dies and pop them through the big shot. So these are the dies that match the stamps that I was using here. There's loads of versatility in this bundle. So these are the flowers in that set. And I'm going to just pop it through the big shot next to me. This is also quite an easy card to make. You can have a bit of fun with the flowers. So I'm going to cut some out in Whisper White cardstock. So I've got white flowers. Oh, I'm stuck something. So here we have got three to start with. Grab my pokey tool. Just take that out there and just pop it out. One. I'm going to get five, so I'll cut a couple more. I always like an odd number on my cards. It cuts the centers out, which is really nice. I think. The sun is out with me. The sun is out. What's the weather doing with you guys? It looks lovely. Looks so nice today. Right, so I've got, I have to walk with the dog. After I've got three so far. I'm going to cut out two more. So I'll put this one to the side and just cut out two more. Hope you're still, you're still with me and I'm not boring you with my die cutting. So I'll just cut two more of those out. We have a new die cutting machine coming in the new catalog at some point. Oh, I'm so excited about that. My big shot is getting very ancient. Perfect timing. Right, okay. So. Ooh. Here we go. Busy concentrating. Sun is out there. I'm so glad. Are you making, Linda? I want to know what you're making. Right. Oh, God, I'm hungry now. As long as it's had my breakfast, honestly. <laughs> hungry work. So I've got five flowers. So let's pop those dies out of the way. And this is where the fun starts because I'm going to do a little bit of inking. Busy concentrating, yeah. So I'm going to bring back in my scrap paper that I was using. I'll just use that side. It's less distracting. Move this one over here and uh, here we are and um, actually I should move this back a bit, you'd have a better view, is that better? Then the Just Breathe is just a white ink pad, yes Lucy, that's right, yes, oh petal palette, that's beautiful Linda, yes it's literally, I'll show you how I've done it, it is literally, I've taken a piece of vellum and let's grab the 
the stamp and the ink pad. So Lucy, this is, is all it is. It's very simple, but it does take a while to dry. It's kind of, oh, it's kind of a different, um, a different kind of ink. It takes a bit longer to dry. Let's put that on there. I didn't have it stuck on the block very well. So pop it on there. And then when you stamp, you see that? When you stamp on here, you'll see it come out. It always, and it also looks very effective on any other um, dark colour cardstock, like um, black or anything like that. So that's how it stamps. Isn't that beautiful? It just needs to dry a little while because I don't know if you can see how it's a bit shiny, it's a bit wet. And that's what it looks like. And you can also do it on dark colours and it looks fab. So nice bit of white ink is always useful there. So pop that out of the way and that one. And this is where we're going to have a bit of fun with the inking. Oh, get those, yes, get those stamp set. That is the thing, you see. When you have a stamp set you've not used, get them out and use them. It's so much more satisfying than it's sitting in the cupboard and you know, you know in the back of your mind thinking, oh, I haven't used, I bought that stamp set and I haven't used it and you, you know, feel a bit guilty, get them out and use them. It is a lovely alternative of having all the bits for embossing um, and it's quicker too, obviously, than getting it out and plugging it in and yeah, it does look almost embossed. I like a bit of white ink. Okay, so I've got my finger dauber and this one's got pink ink on it. So I'm back with this bright melon mamba ink and I'm going to ink up these lovely flowers that I just cut out in Whisper White. Yes, Linda, I know. Now, you know what happens, don't you, if you don't use the stamp set? They cry in the cupboard. Can you hear that noise? <laughs> That's your stamp sets crying in the cupboard because they've been neglected. <laughs> Honestly, somebody told me that. Something else to add to my list. I know, I know. But it's a good thing to add to your list, White, because it's a very useful one. Very, um, very useful and doesn't break the bank to get some white ink and things. It's good. It's really good. Okay, so you can ink up your sponge dauber. Take off some of it so it's not quite so harsh. And just slightly ink up your flowers. Now... It depends on how much pink you want on your flowers to how dark you go with it. I know, they do. They cry in the cupboard. If you don't use them, that's what that noise is. You don't know what it is. It's a stamp set in the cupboard crying because it's... <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm mad. Oh, okay, so ink up your flowers how you'd like them to look. You can have them really dark or really light. So you need to use your stamp sets, guys. If any of you, here you go, if any of you have a stamp set that's by stamping up, old or new, and you want some inspiration and you don't know what to do with it and you get it out and you're not sure, um, then give me a message or something like that and I will see if I can find you some inspiration for it. How's that? Get those stamp sets out. I don't care if they're new or old. Uh, well... That's the problem, Linda. Sometimes they multiply when you're not looking. And sometimes they jump into your basket when you're shopping, stamping up shopping, and you didn't realise, and then they arrive, honestly. <laughs> oh, here we go. A bit of accidental shopping is always good. Right, okay, so that's all I've done for mine. You can... Pink the edges up a bit more if you want some more definition. That's quite nice. Your husband cries, does he? Seriously? Oh no, how funny. Don't let him see them. Then he won't cry. <laughs> yeah, just let me know. If there is a stamping up stamp one, I can, even if I don't know the set, I can probably find something made that someone else has made with it to inspire you or if I own it then I will make something with it to hopefully inspire you how's that <laughs> right okay so we've got our flowers all pink and I've got some more nice pink on my hands 
Right, let's put that out of the way now. And hope I don't spread it everywhere. I'm just going to wipe my hand on my chamois. It's very useful there. <laughs> no, here we go. Right, we're going to assemble our card. So I don't think I'm going to put anything underneath this layer. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the layers together. Yes, no, Linda, it definitely happens to me quite a lot of the time. I'm like, mm, look at that. That just accidentally jumped into my basket. Whoopsies. <laughs> Honestly. Right. To be honest, I need no excuse, though. No excuse. It's one of the perks, clearly. Right. Okay, now I'm going to put my Just Breathe on, but I'm going to work it exactly where it's all going to go. Hi, Sheila. Glad you could join us. Now I'm going to see. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of snail where the writing is. Just a small bit and see if that... That didn't come out. See if that will hold it. Because I know that you can see a lot of adhesives. You can see through the vellum. But I'm thinking if I just do it where the... Writing is, we'll be good. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello to, Chicago, to you in Chicago. That's incredible. How lovely. I hope you're safe, safe and well. Okay, I'm gonna pop our little, oh, Sheila, do you know what the name of this chair is? I know this chair has a name, the kind of chair, and uh, I can't remember. I don't know whether to raise it up. I might raise the chair up, actually. But if I do that, I'll need some very tiny dimensional. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it, Jan. That's good. I'm just going to stick it down. I've got glue everywhere, haven't I? I was too busy thinking about the name of this chair. No, it is a lawn chair, but there's a specific name for it. It'll come back to me in a minute. I didn't know what it was called until we got this die, I think. There's a couple of little dots in there. Can you see? I'm just going to poke those out. There we are. Oh, and another one. Didn't notice that one either. On it goes. Looking fabulous. Not sure. Sorry, Sheila. I thought you might know. Right, only because... I think it's something I've seen when I've been in the States. Right, I'm going to glue this one down with some good old fashioned Tombow, multi-purpose Tombow. Just a couple of little dots, you really don't know need hardly any at all just to dot it along and you could use the fine tip glue pen if you have more control with that one. Oh, what time is it there it's a uh, quarter to 12 lunchtime here <laughs> knocking everything down right I'm going to hi Heather how are you hope you're fit and well and keeping safe that branch is really useful it's great because you can stamp it you could cut it out after you've stamped it or you can just cut it out of card right let me see where my dimensional foam pads are here they are. I'm going to use some for here. I'm going to put my flowers on. Oop, stuck to me. Stuck to me. And just put them where you think you'd like them to go. Wherever you think. Just kind of working it out. 
obviously got a glue on my thumb. I've definitely got glue on my thumb. Not sure about this big one. I think I need on this one, I think I need another one of these kind of half ones. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab that one again and cut that one out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. I don't know what he's doing now. But he needs to go away. Oops. So, happy Star Wars Day for yesterday, guys. Did anybody watch any good uh, Star Wars films? Uh, May the 4th, if you're confused. It's a pun, it's a play on words. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> yeah, so really, the whole set is really useful. I've made some really lovely cards using just the leaves, especially in the autumn. Right, okay, so I've got another one there. I'm just going to sponge that one. Watch me get all inky. I've got enough ink on this, I would have thought. There we go, that's enough. You can just cut the flowers out of a different colour if you wanted them all solid colour. I just like the um, the the idea of having it kind of like subtle. Watch the rewatch from the first film. We did that fairly recently, Lucy, and it was so good because you can watch them all in order now. And it's, yeah, I was just, oh, yes. <laughs> if you're a Star Wars fan, I love that. Excellent. So they're going to go on there. Now I've got to decide if I just glue them down or if I pop them up. I think I'm going to glue them down. And that's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to look better, look a bit odd popped up. Saw it at the cinema. Oh, who's watching? Are any of you watching The Mandalorian? Lucy, are you watching that too? And Jan, The Mandalorian on Netflix is absolutely brilliant. If you haven't, look that one up. It's a great one. If you're into that kind of sci fi -y type stuff. Well, I have been watching uh, Doctor Who and I'm halfway through uh, or nearly at the end of David Tennant, I think. Yes, it is amazing. I love it. Good morning, Kathy. How are you? So glad you could join us. We are playing with the Colourful Seasons stamp set and the Seasonal Layers dies. I went into my stash to see what I had that was an old favourite that I love a lot that is retiring. So I could show it off and give it another go out and so that people can see it and get it before it disappears for good because they won't be back. So it's a good two or three years old, this one, I think. And um, I've loved it and loved it. I think it's time I just got it out again. Look at that, that's so pretty, isn't it? So simple. So that one's gonna go on there like that one, like that. So let's pop some glue on. I think I'll use Tombow as I've got it to hand. Tombow or snail, depends what you like. Oh, I'm glad you like the card. Have any of you been watching anything good on TV this week? Because I know we're all in quite a lot at the moment. Oh, my flower moved. Watching things. No, it's funny, isn't it? You get these things and you never know, you know, you think you're going to use it a lot. But this one I did use quite a bit. And then I haven't used it at all for such a long time. I thought it was about time I got it out and gave it a last fling. So just breathe and then let's find a sentiment to go inside from the stamp set. I'm going to put life is a beautiful thing because I think that goes with it. I'm going to see how much I've used it in, in dark colours because it's a bit stained, a lot stained. Let me grab a big block. I'll take the deck chair off this one to save me rummaging. Mm -hmm. 
And I think, seeing as I've got the chair in Coastal Cabana, I'm going to stamp it in that. The Good Karma Hospital. Harrow. Ooh. Oh, you mean Star Wars films? Yeah, they are brilliant, Jan. As you get into them, you just, yeah, you're done. <laughs> Harrow and the good. All right, I'm going to look at both of those things. Thank you for the suggestions. Right, let's give it a stamp. I haven't used it in ages, so I always recommend giving a new stamp, a stamp off on a piece of scrap before you start, or one that you haven't used for a bit, or just want to, just to make sure that it's stamping well and you're inking it up right. Yes, I think so. I think it might need a re-ink this ink pad, but I'm going to do that later. Yeah, so the retiring list is there. Do have a look because there's lots. I actually made a little list and I was surprised at some of the things that I had noticed. So if there's things that you'd like, make sure you get those. All right, I'm going to stamp that in the middle. House. I haven't seen house. I don't know what that's about. Maybe I should... I have heard of that, but I don't know what it is. Life is a beautiful thing. Isn't that cute? That is nice. I might put a couple of flowers inside there. So here we go again. And then we're nearly done. But I will need, I might just do this, just this one. Sorry, my arm's gonna come in shot. I might just use this one stamp here. And <laughs> definitely being pink, what have I done with it? <laughs> and then I'll do our envelopes. The good thing about it, if you could do your envelopes at the same time, you can stamp the same stamps on them and it's all done and ready to go. And also, you, I think you're far more likely to pop them in the post. Yes. Yes, I do know what that is. Thanks for reminding me. But I haven't seen it. Perhaps I need to give it a go. Snap off a couple of times. Like so. Oh, didn't stamp that one, so it doesn't matter. Just stuff over the top. There you go. Life is a beautiful... Oh, I need to do it at the other end as well. I like it in threes. I'll just do that there. There we are. Life is a beautiful thing. And then when you've got your flowers on the front. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Yes, that's it. That's what we need at the moment. We need things that are calming. I think we're living in a bit of an anxious time, aren't we? Everyone's a bit nervous about what's happening, everything going on. It's nice to have something that feels peaceful. And I like these colours. I think they go well. So there we are. So this was the first one. A very simple one layer card, literally a layer of cardstock stamped on. And you really don't have to be accurate with these blossoms. They can just fall off. And I did thinking of you with the deck chair and you make me smile inside. And I've matched up the colours, so we've got the Coastal Cabana with the base. And then I've done this one using more of the die cuts with the bundle, with the set. And you've got the die cut chair and the flowers, um, which are the same flowers as those. Um, this is the White Craft Ink on Vellum, Just Breathe, with the same with a stamp from the same set. And life is a beautiful thing, and that's what we've made. Oh, so I think one more thing is the envelopes. Let me grab a couple. Alfie is um, still in here, being a very good boy, sitting by my feet. He likes to be in here when we're doing, when I'm crafting. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Thank you. I'm really pleased. Right. Let's have a look. What can I put on the envelope? I'm going to put a little deck chair on there. 
I am. Let's hope it goes well. Let's move that one. Put a deck chair on that one. Yeah, green is a calming colour, isn't it, Jan? You're right. That's what we need. Oh, Margaret, I mean, sorry. Right, okay, here we go. I try to follow the comments and stand. <laughs> so soft suede to do the base of the deck chair. Let's move it out. And then I've got to find what I did with the stamp because I've moved it and now I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the just breeze? Oh, I moved it so that it wouldn't be in with everything else. So here it is. Um, I'm going to use that same green. I'm going to line it up. You can see that little notch here lines up with the base of the, the frame. So it's, it's an easy one to do. So we've got our deck chair on the front of the envelope for that card. And then what shall I put on the other one? I'll put just a couple of flowers, I think. Right, I want to sing now. It makes me sing la 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 la. It's wonderful. Do you want to hear me singing now? Right, here we go. There we go, the flowers on the front and I'll put some on the back as well. Just to decorate the back of the envelope. Maybe a branch, oh, that's a good idea. Now you're getting me going. Which one, this one on here? I think I'm going to leave that one as it is. And that one is going to go with that one. And then I could put a branch on this one if you like. And then I think we've done. Right, let's find it. Here's the branch. Either of them. It would have gone better on that one, I think. But we've done it now, so that's fine. Let's have a look. Where's the brown? Ink up our branch. Let's leave room for our address. That's cute, isn't it? Now I've got to find what I did with the flowers. You see, I just pop them out of the way thinking I'm not going to use them again whilst I'm crafting with you and uh, oh, everything's all over the shop. Let's move that in. I don't know what I did with it. Did I throw it away? I don't think I did. No. Here it is. Stuck on my chamois where I wanted it to be. How ridiculous of me. Let's grab that. And grab the, ink, the pink ink again. You're very kind ladies this morning. Very forgiving. Here we go. Right, this is the fun bit. Let's grab this bit back here because I'll know don't make a right old mess. Oh, 
There we go. Make a little bit for the back. There we go. So we don't have a gap. <laughs> That's fun to do, that is. There you go. There's the envelope for this one. Matches your card, kind of. And then we've got some flowers on this one. It matches this one. I hope you like them. Had a bit of fun with that. I have a lot of... Uh, Thank you. I have a lot of cards probably on my blog if you type in Colourful Seasons. Although my I did swap my blog platform over a while ago, so it's probably, they won't all show up on those. Uh, some of them are there though. Um, but I have used the leaves a lot to make autumnal cards. These leaves, gorgeous. And the, the die cut is gorgeous for that. Anyway, so that's the cards for today. And I shall be back on Thursday evening. Oh, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Brilliant. I'll be back on Thursday evening with some more crafting, some more Facebook Live at about 10 past 8, I think, unless you hear any different. Um, if you want this stamp set um, and the dies, they're in my online shop. They're called Colourful Seasons and the Seasonal Layering Dies. And they're over there. If not, that's fine. Just have a lovely crafty week. If you've been um, crafting, send me your pics. Margaret sent me some lovely pics I need to pop on my Facebook group page and I'll put those up today and I love to see what you've been making so do send those to me and uh, stay safe and take care thanks for joining me guys bye thanks Anne